In this video, we're going to register the Evo 8, download our drivers, and get up and running. First, we'll register the unit. Come to this site and create an account or log in if you already have one. Since I already have an account, I'll choose Your Products and register the Evo 8. You'll find the serial number and PIN on the bottom of the unit. Once you're done, you'll find your free software under Promotions. Currently, it includes some plugins and even a DAW. Now we'll download the driver. Come to this site and download the one you need. You can download the manual while you're here too. Then install the driver. It's a good idea to do this before connecting the Evo to your computer. Just follow the on screen prompts. After install, it's a good idea to restart your computer, but this is optional. Now, connect the Evo 8 to your computer. You'll probably get a pop-up saying you need to update the firmware. Follow the on-screen prompts to install the latest firmware on your Evo 8. Since we already registered our unit, we can close this pop-up. You'll probably be switched over to using the Evo 8 as your computer sound source. That means all computer audio will come through the Evo 8, things like YouTube, Windows Media Player, etc. You can switch this back to your main computer speakers at any time by clicking the speaker icon and choosing another sound source. Just understand that the Evo 8 does not need to be the audio output for Windows in order to use it with a DAW. An important thing to understand about Windows is you may need to manually change the sample rate if you are not getting sound to or from a Windows-based application like a browser or OBS. You can change the sample rate for each input and output by right-clicking the speaker icon, choose Open Sound Settings, Sound Control Panel. Under the Playback tab, Select an output from the Evo 8. Choose Properties. Click the Advanced tab. And then you can manually change the sample rate if you are not getting sound. This all depends on the settings of the application you are using. Usually 24-bit 44.1 or 24-bit 48K are the standard settings. Again, just keep these options in mind because this is usually a sticking point for many people, especially when using the Evo with apps like OBS or Skype. Under the Recording tab, you can change the sample rate for each of the inputs as well. Keep in mind, these settings are for Windows-based applications, not DAWs. Most DAWs will automatically set the correct sample rate when you create your session. You can access the Evo app in your tray. Right click the Evo icon, and here you can set your loopback source, set the overall sample rate, although your DAW should do this automatically, and you still may need to manually change the sample rates as shown for Windows based applications. Change the buffer, check for updates, etc., and show the mixer. Now you're all set up and ready to record. Open the DAW of your choice. We'll use Pro Tools and make sure the Evo 8 is the playback engine for your DAW. In order to hear the input and output, we'll need to connect either studio monitors or headphones to the Evo 8. You won't hear audio output through your computer or laptop speakers. All audio will go in and out of the Evo 8. Since we'll be recording a mic, I'll be sure to use headphones. And when the headphones are plugged in, they will bypass the monitors plugged into outputs one and two. To control the volume of these outputs, press the output volume button number one and turn the big knob up or down. You can use all four inputs at once. Just create a track for each and set the input. We'll just record a mic so we can see the process. Plug in your microphone to the Evo. I'll use input 2. Since this is a condenser mic, I'll turn on phantom power for input 2. 
I'll make sure I have a track in my DAW set to input 2. The input names vary between DAWs, and you can customize them in your DAW as well, but this is how they're named by default in Pro Tools. Input monitor the track. Make sure you are using headphones. If you are using speakers, you'll create a feedback loop once you turn up the gain and volume. Let's use smart gain to set the proper input level. Press the smart gain button, press channel two, and press the smart gain button again. Then talk or sing into the microphone at a level representative of your performance. Speaking into the microphone to set the smart gain level. Check one, two. Once the level is set, the smart gain button will flash twice and you are ready to record. If you need to manually adjust the input gain, press button two and turn the big knob. If you want to hear the mic input with no latency, you can use the direct monitor in the mixer. Turn off the input monitor in your DAW. And in the mixer, dial in the amount of dry input you want to hear. Make sure you turn up the volume for the outputs as well. Mute the track in your DAW and record enable the track. Press record and record your performance with no latency. Recording a microphone with the Audient Evo 8 using Smart Gain to set the input level. If you instead would like to hear plugins while recording, turn down the dry level in the mixer, unmute the track, and monitor through the DAW using reverb while recording. Since we're done with the mic, we can turn off phantom power, either from the unit itself or from within the mixer. Click View and show the mic preamp controls. From here, we can turn on or off phantom power and even adjust the input gain. To record a guitar through an amp plugin, connect your guitar to the instrument input on the front. Or if you have high output active pickups, you could also try a line input on the rear. Set the input on a mono audio track to one since we are plugged into the front input and monitor the track. Since we need to monitor through the DAW, open the mixer and set the buffer to 128 or below so you can play with minimal latency. Also, make sure the direct monitor for the guitar is turned down. Otherwise, you'll hear the amp plugin and the dry guitar at the same time. Set your input gain using smart gain, or we could just do it manually from the mixer. And that's good. Now, select your favorite amp plugin and you're ready to play or record. If you want to play along with drums, throw in some drum loops, or load up your favorite drum plugin, set up the MIDI, and play along with your guitar. We'll cover some of the other features like loopback in a different video, but now you should be set up and ready to record with the Evo 8. Thank <laughs> you.